All right, um, let us now talk about continuous functions. Well, the definition of a continuous function is that a function of two variables is continuous um, if, well, at a certain point a, b, if the limit of the function uh, as x approaches the, this point is the same as the value of the function at the given point, right? So now essentially limit laws tell, tell us that all polynomial functions and all rational functions are continuous. So let, let me explain. So first, what is a polynomial? So a polynomial um, in one variable is just the sum of uh, powers of the, this variable with some coefficients. So a polynomial in two variables is the sum of uh, products of powers of two variables. So anything that involves powers of x, powers of y, their products, and uh, the sum of the, 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 such, such terms is, is called a polynomial. So a rational function is a ratio of two polynomials, right? And then if you look at uh, limit laws carefully, you will see that so the, the, the sum law, the product law, and the ratio law, essentially the limit laws tells us, tell us that polynomials and rational functions are continuous on their respective domains because literally these limit laws tell us that in order to compute the limit of a rational function, what you need to do is you need to substitute a and b as x and y, right? So, so if you have the limit of... Um, a rational function, so let me write it as p of x and y, where p is some polynomial in x and y, and q is some other polynomial in x and y, as x and y approach a, b, right? So according to limit laws, the answer is p of a, b, divided by q of a, b, which is precisely the value of the rational function at the point a, b. Okay, uh, so... Basically, the, this proposition is just the, the, the same thing as, as limit laws. Maybe for your information, um, so the lecture notes do not mention it, but it is also true that uh, any other named function that you are familiar with from, um, uh, from secondary school or from junior college or from polytechnic, like exponential function, uh, logarithm function, Trigonometric functions like cosine, sine, tangent, inverse trigonometric functions like arc, cos, arc, tangent. So all these functions are also continuous. So if you make something out of um, um, out of these named functions and x and y, you will also get um, a continuous continuous function of two or more variables, right? Um, so it's just that in order to prove this kind of more general version, you will need something more than just limit laws. Okay, um, now some, some examples on applying limit laws. So they're rather trivial. So um, we have a polynomial so a polynomial is continuous, right? So for every point in R2, this polynomial is continuous at that point. So all polynomials are continuous on the entire R2. So, and here is a rational function. So this rational function is continuous on the whole R2, well, on its domain, right? So notice that uh, it is important to understand that rational functions are continuous on their domains. So there could be, um, cases where the denominator is zero. In this case, the denominator may be zero if x is one and y is zero. So this leads to the denominator being zero. In this case, we can't divide by zero. So which means that this point, the point one zero is not in the domain. Okay. So we can't say that our function is continuous or discontinuous at one zero because it, it doesn't make sense. It is just simply not defined there. So I mean, if you think of all possible cases, then a function can be continuous at some point, can be discontinuous at that point, or it may be undefined at that point. So if it is undefined at that point, it doesn't make sense of speaking whether it is continuous or discontinuous. I mean, there, there is no such thing in order for, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense. 
Okay, so that's all about continuity. So please pause the video and do this quiz.